What is up guys, this is Kobe here and today I'm bringing you guys a GMS video and in this video I'm going to be talking about every single possible way you can obtain Nova coins for the Nova coin shop. Now I'm going to be going through every single event that will be happening throughout the entire Nova update. So starting from now until January 16th, I'll even be covering events that haven't even gone out yet. Uh, some... I'll kind of just have a brief explanation about because I really had too much experience with them. But, you know, there'll still be ways to obtain Nova coins. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Now the first way to obtain them is the very basic generic way on how to do it. This is pretty much how it goes for every single major update that comes out. You basically kill monsters until you get boxes that give you coins. Now, the different thing about this Nova box, and let's actually hope that my drop rate will be good enough to get at least one of them. Um, the good thing about these boxes is that the moment you loot them, you get the coin automatically. You don't get anything else. See, there's one right now. Um, you don't get anything else but the coin. As you can see, I will be looting this. And if you look at my chat, it says I have gained one Nova coin, and I am able to get 59 more for the day. And that's basically how you obtain this. You just get this through straight hard farming that's that's basically it the next method is another method that's already out you may have noticed these little drops that have dropped before these little dragon things right here uh the, the man off dolls they give 10 dragon 10 points of dragon energy and there's like little snowmen that drop as well uh they're probably five times uh harder to get because they give 50 points of dragon energy and with the 100 points of dragon energy, you get a dragon pop. Now, in order to have this dragon pop gauge down here, you must accept the event quest Fun Times at Dragon Park. Once you accept this, you'll be able to have this down here. And then once you actually have some points of dragon energy, you can go ahead and claim your dragon pops. They are tradable, so you can trade them in the market. Or if you're in reboot, you can put them in the storage for a new character. And they expire on January 3rd. You can double click it for some exp and a nova coin and there's also a chance that you could receive some um items such as a dragon pop headband um in a coupon of course which will be tradable in the market it is a cash up hat so the moment you use the coupon the item will no longer be tradable so i could just go ahead and use these and boom i already got three nova coins and you can use these up to 100 times per day you can also only obtain up to 100 per day as well, per character. Not per account, but just per character straight up. The next event we have is Sugar Time. That's right, the event where you basically just stand still and just do nothing. This will be out on December 1st for the Western players. It will be out on December 2nd more so for the Australian users. Uh, but basically... For the first 30 minutes you stay logged in for sugar time, you get 10 Nova Coins. An hour, you get 30 more Nova Coins. 90 minutes, you get 10 more. And after 120 minutes, you get 10 Nova Coins. Um, on your first time going through the two hour cycle, you get 15 on your second time, and then 20, 25, 30 on your third, fourth, and fifth time. Now going through this, this entire cycle five times, which takes 10 hours to do, 10 hours is just straight up AFKing, staying on the game, doing whatever, you get 300 Nova Coins. So mark this date down because it is coming soon. This next event is Bingo starting on December 6th. Now this one's going to be a tad bit different because it's double edition Bingo. Meaning you have two boards. And with two boards, you're able to get on that top 30 ranking spot twice. So meaning, if you look at this little board right here. First place gets 30 Nova Coins. Second through fifth place gets 20 Nova Coins. So let's say you get extremely lucky and you get both first and second place. You get 50 Nova Coins from that one round alone. Um, and it goes down from 6 to 10, 10 coins, 11 to 20, um, or, yeah, 11 to 20, 6 coins, 21 to 30, 4 coins, and if you don't rank at all, you get 2 coins. And this doesn't go by per round, it goes by per board. So if you don't rank at all, period, you get two coins twice meaning four coins per round so up to 12 coins if you just don't rank at all you can get 12 coins and just go into bingo and straight up afk or if you actually want to try you can you know 
try to win you some coins some more. So another example, let's say you get 4th place and then 12th place. Your first board is going to get you 20 coins because you rank 4th place, and then your second board is going to get you 6 coins because you rank 12th place. So in one round alone, you get 26 coins. So it's really, really, really good for coins. This version of Bingo is definitely trying to speed up the game a little bit more um, if you kind of understand what's going on. This next one is the Ilium Pre-Creation Event. So starting December 14th, after Winter Bard comes out, the fourth episode of Grand Athadium, you are able to create an Ilium, but you will not be able to play this Ilium until December 20th. Upon creating this emblem, Ilium, wow. Upon creating this Ilium, you get a package, and this package contains 100 Nova Coins, plus a bunch of other goodies. And I'll link you the rest of the goodies here um, down in the description. So yeah, just make you get Ilium after the 14th, and you'll get 100 Nova Coins just like that. Now, right after Ilium creation, we have Ilium Boost Up, which will last all the way from December 20th to January 16th. Upon reaching levels 100, 125, 150, and 175 on an Ilium, you start to gain Nova Coins. At level 100, you get 30 coins. At 125, you get 60 coins. At 150, you get 90 coins. And at level 175, you get 120 coins. So that is a grand total of 300 Nova Coins. But if you participated in the pre-creation event, I don't know if GMS will actually copy this over, but you will get twice the amount of Nova Coins. So that 300 becomes a fatty 600. So make sure you do that pre-creation event and you level up an Ilium to at least 175 if you're ready for the Nova Coins. Once you reach a certain level in the Ilium, you should be able to accept the quest to get this reward on another character. But keep in mind, it is only once per account. So choose this character wisely. Hot Weeks. We all know and love Hot Weeks. Now, since they're not officially announced on the website yet, I can't tell you how many Nova Coins you're going to be getting from this. But there will be three different Hot Weeks, starting with the first one on December 4th, and then the last one which will end on December 30th. So there will be Hot Weeks throughout the entire month of December to get you guys Nova Coins. So be sure to be on the lookout for any updates on the website to see how many Nova Coins you will be able to get from these Hot Weeks. Next up, we have the Winter Photo Card Updates. So with this update, you are able to collect cards from monsters and actually use these cards in a certain deck. But in order to actually activate them, there will be a little buff that you'll have to double click here in your setup inventory and able to activate it. I cannot show you guys what it is right now, unfortunately, only because it is not out yet. But this event will start on December 14th and it will end on January 2nd. So one way to obtain coins in this update is getting the Eckhart card, the Cygnus Nightwalker instructor. Having this on your deck, preferably a double S card, will give you a 20 to 30% chance to acquire one additional Nova coin from the Nova boxes. So meaning it's an average of an extra Nova coin every four to five boxes, which is absolutely insane. Uh, well, not insane, because it's only like an additional 10 to 12 coins per day, but it's still pretty nice. Um, another way to obtain coins from this event is doing the daily quest that comes with it. Now, there are six different daily quests that you need to do, and each daily quest requires you to pick up 50 packs. Day um, Quest 1 is 50 packs, quest 2 is 100 packs, but you already have the 50 packs from the first quest, so you only need to collect 50 more, and it keeps going on like that until you loot 300 packs per day. The first quest and the second quest give 5 Nova Coins each, the third quest gives 10, fourth gives 15, fifth gives 20, and the sixth gives 30. So that's a total of 85 coins per day from doing these quests. Lastly, there are achievements that you can unlock with this system. There are with this event. This event will give you seven achievements, which you, I have to do the prerequisites for the Maple Achievement System. Um, but throughout these seven achievements, the first four achievements will give 30 Nova Coins each, um, which is 120 Nova Coins. And then the last three Nova Coins, or the last three achievements, will give you 
40 Nova Coins each. So from all the achievements, you get 240 Nova Coins. So we have Eckhart card, which gives a, an additional chance to receive Nova Coins from the boxes. We have the card daily, which gives you 85 Nova Coins per day. And we have achievements, which give you 240 Nova Coins. And next up we have shining boxes you already you guys should already know the drill about this one although i have no idea what the coin limit on these boxes will be so that's something i need to know about but it's basically the same thing as the first way to obtain coins uh you just kill monsters for boxes and you get coins from those little boxes upon double clicking them you don't get coins right away because these are old boxes um so you do have to double click on these boxes to obtain novel coins as said before not really sure what the limit is. I think it's going to be like 30 or something. I think the V coin was increased to 30. But we'll kind of see what happens. Because remember, there was no limit at first. And then they introduced a limit of 10. And I think that got increased to 30 or the 10 stood. I don't really remember. But moving on. Next up, we have the Ski Bum. This is probably the only event on kms that i did not do to get novel coins because there were already so many other ways to get novel coins that i didn't really feel like investing my time in this but it's basically like a pvp arena where you splash people with water it was water balls for us because it was around the summer i don't know if it'll still be a water balls for you guys or they'll change it to snowballs until it'll be winter time because this event does start december 14th um, but anyway, you do get points from playing in this arena. I forgot how often you get points, but with 300 points, you can get one Nova coin. And you can get up to 60 coins per day. So 18,000 points, you get a Nova coin. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how hard or easy it is to get 18,000 points in a day. Now, there are achievements for this as well. There are four achievements that give you... Um, uh, well, there are achievements. Yeah, four achievements that give you Nova Coins. It just says a Nova Coin box, so it doesn't really show you how many Nova Coins that you, you can get from these achievements. There's just four different achievements. First one is defeating a total of 500 people. Second one is achieving a score of 5,000 in a single game. The third one is achieving a score, a total score of 100,000. And the fourth one is achieving a total score of 200,000. And that's it for Ski Bomb. Now, if you hate Great Athenium, then don't bother with this one at all. Because it's definitely not worth doing. But it will start upon the release of Winter Bard, which is episode 4 of Great Athenium. And it will last until January 3rd. Basically, if you complete episode 4, you get 30 Nova Coins. And you get a pretty nice looking chair. So if you are a chair collector, maybe this is actually worth it, along with the Nova Coins. Next up, we have the Step Up event. This one is not worth doing if you do not want to level up a, a new meal to 205 for that title that you get. Which is basically the Maple Specialist. The exact title that we got from the V Diary. It is coming back in Step Up form. Um, and you can get quite a bit of Nova Coins doing this event. Now, like I said, if you don't want to bother with leveling a new character up to 205, or all these missions, because there are a ton of missions, and I have um, went through all the missions in a video that I uploaded a while back. You can check that out if you want. That will be in the description. Um, but if you don't want to deal with all of that, then it is definitely not worth your time. But if you really, really, really want that title, then you can go for that title as well as getting Novo coins along with it. Now this one was one of my favorites because you could loot 250 of these boxes per day. I kid you not, 250. But it took me hours to get them all. But I didn't mind at all because that was when Moraz came out and I really enjoyed my time grinding there. Um, in KMS, we did get our first box event extended all the way to, well, for an additional two weeks. So we were able to get 310 Nova Coins per day. 60 from looting the original 60 boxes, and then 250 from looting these 250 boxes. These festival boxes are tradable as well, so you could sell these just like the Dragon Pops. Unfortunately, the Dragon Pops will no longer be around, but this is a much better replacement. And you 
pretty much get them from killing monsters just like the first boxes their drop rate though is going to be a tad bit lower from my experience of grinding them so be prepared for that and lastly we have another sugar time on january 5th or 6th if you're in australia whatnot so on and so forth um just like the last one 300 nova coins plus a whole bunch of other items chances to actually get something good make sure you gotta be on the game for 10 hours throughout the entire day claiming these prizes every 30 minutes if you want to get all 300 of these nova coins and that's that thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys have a clue on what to expect and how to get these nova coins if you did appreciate the help please leave a like subscribe if you haven't that is if you want to and i'll be bringing back some more great content to you guys later Peace out, everybody.